This is the moment a real-life Robinson Crusoe demonstrates his remarkable trick for making fire using only a plastic bag filled with water. Spanish castaway Alvaro Surezo has visited more than 400 uncharted territories since he decided to trade civilization for surviving on unspoiled pockets of paradise at 19. The 36-year-old now makes a living abandoning brave holidaymakers on far-flung desert islands to survive for days or weeks at a time and has to test out the most treacherous locations himself first. Now he has revealed this amazing new video footage of himself creating a fire on a beach on a desert island in the Philippines in seconds using only a clear plastic bag full of seawater. In the clip, Alvaro, from Malaga, uses the plastic bag in the same way as a magnifying glass to pinpoint the sun's burning rays onto dry coconut kindling, which quickly sets alight. The survival expert said, I have used this method to make fire so many times. People are usually surprised you can use a plastic bag to make fire, they normally cannot believe it. If explorers don't carry plastic bags with them, there are always some on the shore of any desert island that have been pulled from the sea. The problem is most of them have little holes which would make the coconut hair wet, meaning it would be impossible to start a fire. Because of this, you need to be lucky to find the right plastic bag, as it also must be transparent. Once you fill it with water either fresh or salty you need to create a round shape by pressing the sides. Then, the water creates the same effect as a magnifying glass. Alvaro set up his company, Dacastaway, in 2003, after staying on an island on the remote archipelago of Andaman in Nicobar in India and realizing he could never work in an office. He has since helped more than 500 people from backpackers to millionaires experience the shipwrecked life for just $1,500 United States dollars, approximately £1,000 per week. Two years ago he visited fellow real-life Crusoe, David Glasheen, who has lived on Restoration Island, Australia, since 1993 after losing of £8 million fortune in the 1987 Black Monday crash. Alvaro spent five days living with David in January 2016. He said of the experience our customers wish to be castaways on a desert island for a few days. I travel because I want to meet people like David all over the world. I spent five days living with him and got to know him, his dog, his life and his personality. Alvaro scours the world for remote islands and limits each one to one person or couple at a time and withholds geographic details to ensure genuine isolation. Alvaro has also successfully used a light bulb to start a fire and said making a saw out of bamboo to create friction is another commonly used method. He added, when I can't find a plastic bag, I try to find a light bulb. They are round and so make for the perfect shape, like when you press a plastic bag. You open them carefully and put water inside to create the same magnifying glass effect. Alvaro also spent time with Ho Van Lang, a man who spent four decades living off rats in the jungle after fleeing the horrors of the Vietnam War. Alvaro was born into a well-off family in Malaga, an ancient trading port on the southern coast of Spain. Three years ago, he told New York Times Style magazine he felt people from his home port led lives of quiet desperation. He said, I have never been truly happy in a city, not any city, not ever, he said. The only way I can describe it is an uncomfortable feeling, like itching. We pay for your stories. Do you have a story for the Sun Online News team? Email us at tips at the sun.